Today I'm going to be showing you how to port forward in your computer so you can run your Minecraft server and your friends can finally join you. Let's get right into the tutorial. The first step is to open our server folder. I'm assuming you already have a server. If you do not have a server, subscribe and watch my next video, which is going to be how to run a server. I mean, if I already have it up, it should be appearing somewhere here on the screen. Anyways, once we open the server folder, go ahead and find a file called server properties. As you can see, for me, it's right here. And go ahead and open it with your reader of selection, right? For me, it's Notepad++. You might use Note or whatever. In here, we only have to find a thing called server port right as we can see it's right here 25565 is the number by default this should be the number in every minecraft server unless you have manually changed it okay so what we're going to do is copy that number 25565 i already know it by memory but anyways we're going to copy it close this close that and now we're back on the desktop clean desktop and now we have to add some rules to our firewall regarding that port so for that go ahead and open the firewall down here you could type firewall and as you can see windows defender firewall comes up go ahead and click on it this window will open and go ahead and click on advanced settings you could close the other window so we could have an easier way to work down here go ahead and click inbound rules as you can see here on the top left and click new rule this should be a pretty easy process go ahead and click port because we're allowing a port to have an inbound rule click next select the first option tcp and go ahead and type the number or press ctrl v to paste the number that you had uh, copied which should be 25565 unless you have manually changed it go ahead and click next allow the connection click next make sure everything is selected click next once again and give it whatever name you want let's give it uh, mc right and then click finish that's the first rule we have to do this three more times go ahead and click new rule here in, um, in inbound sorry for my english make sure you select port click next make sure you add the number right here but this time we're not going to select tcp we're going to select udp right select that udp click next 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 uh let's say mc2 right so we don't get confused finish we have finished the inbound rules now we have to do the outbound rules and i hope that's how you pronounce it go ahead and click on outbound right below inbound and let's do the same thing new rule let's go ahead and select port next paste the port number right here 25565 select tcp first click next allow the connection next next and then type mc again i guess and now let's create a new rule which is going to be the udp right so port same process type in the port number or paste it select udp this time next allow the connection next next and now type mc2 or whatever name you want you can put whatever name you want in here click finish and that is it we have finished doing the outbound and inbound rules we go ahead and close the firewall defender now this is where the tutorial gets a little bit more complicated it's not that complicated it's just that it's going to be different for everybody what we want to do is open command prompt right i have it ready right here but you could go ahead and type command and command prompt should come up and go ahead and type ip ip config right go ahead and press enter and you should get this data right here right what we're looking for is two different numbers we're looking for default gateway as you can see right here and we're looking for ip before address right so we have those two for now we're going to use the default gateway but we're not going to use the string of letters we're going to use the string of numbers right your number could be completely different than mine right here just go ahead and select it and press ctrl c or just memorize it or type it into a notepad or whatever just copy that number and go open chrome or whatever browser you use go ahead and type that number that we found in our ip config go ahead and type that number and press enter since i have a spectrum router and a spectrum got updated it's telling me to access my admin page through my phone depending on your internet company you might get a different website i mean you probably will and it's going to have you log in it's going to ask for a username and a password most likely you're going to find that info the username and the password on your router you need to go to your personal router or modem and in the back of it it's going to have the info most of the time the username is admin and the password is admin as well most of the time it works like that but yours might be different check your box and come back to your computer now i'm going to go through my phone and use the spectrum app to set up the port forwarding and if you don't have a spectrum or you don't have a phone app don't worry because i'm going to give you terms even though my interface might not look the same as yours there's terms that we're going to have in common and i'm also going to try and find some photos online and put them on the screen after i'm done setting up my port forwarding just in case yours looks a little bit more like a website instead of an app but let's go through the app real quick and let's uh, do the port forwarding on the phone it should be quite simple actually let's go so obviously i first open the spectrum up then i go to services let it load a little bit it might take a it might take a couple seconds depending on your internet speed and also i'm recording and all of that now i'm gonna go ahead and click on router i click on router router details and i'm gonna scroll down until i find advanced settings click on advanced settings and right here you see it says port forwarding and reservations ip reservations go ahead and click on that and right here you should see a lot of different things you need to find your computer 
your computer should be there. Go ahead and click on that. As you can see, mine is desktop is Cuba. Go ahead and click on add port assignment in the bottom. And right here, you could type any assignment name. Oops, I got a notification. You could type any assignment name and the external port and the internal port are going to be 2556, 25565, I'm sorry both for the same ports and we need to add the protocols tcp and udp if you don't have both of them you can do one at a time you could do tcp first and then udp but it doesn't matter you just need to get them both done now what if your router look completely different than mine you didn't even have an app on the phone you had to do everything through the websites don't worry now there's a video that i'm going to link on the description it's going to be titled something like port forward in any router or something like that that literally the guy this youtuber he goes over a different set of routers he goes over it through different brands verizon the old verizon the new verizon a spectrum and many many others and i'm going to link his video in the description because i think this guy's amazing and he has very good content anyways i opened this website website to help you guys that don't have an app on the phone. Let's say that you use your default gateway on your browser and you access something similar to this, right? You're accessing all of this information right here and you have a bunch of things on the sites, right? You see this? There is a lot of common terms that we're looking for. We're looking for words like security, firewall, forwarding, port forwarding, port triggering. There's a lot of different common terms for port forwarding. For example, in this photo, we're going to click forwarding. Once you click on forwarding, click on add new, right? You click forward, add new. Yours should be something similar. It's not going to be quite the same, but it should be something similar. There's a lot of common terms, like I said. Just make sure after you finish this video, go watch the video I link on the description on how to port forward or any router. This guy's amazing and he covers a lot of different varieties. Anyways, once you click add new, we should see something called internal ports, just like we saw on my phone on my end right go ahead and type that port remember the 25565 the default port for minecraft it might even ask for a service port or an external port as long as you see the term port you already know the number 25565 go ahead and add that in there now if any box is asking for your ip address remember i told you to open command prompt and use ip config go ahead and find that ipv4 address which is right here it's different than your default gateway right so we're going to copy that number we're going to add that to whatever says ip address on your port forwarding website right so ip address go ahead and add that ipv4 address which is your local host which is the number that you're later on going to use to join your own server anyways once we add that make sure that you select the protocol you could do all which is both or you could do tcp and then do the udp right you could do them separate or together because many of you might not have an all option or both options right and you're gonna have to do one by one go ahead and select tcp and later on you're going to do udp leave everything else as it is you don't want to change anything else sometimes you're gonna get this common service port and you're gonna have a different bunch of options just leave just leave it as default don't change anything and click save once you have done the tcp and the udp your port forwarding should be pretty much done like i said before yours might be completely different than what i just showed don't worry go ahead and check that video in the description now how do we join our own server and how do we have our friends join our server right so we're going to find that ip before address again using our command prompt and we're going to copy it and we're going to open the server files one more time so go back to server server properties remember just like in the beginning of the video and using notepad or whatever you used to read it go ahead and open it and find something called server ip address as you can see right here the server ip address and right there we're going to put that ip before number right so you can see i just pasted my ip before number and that is how you are going to join your minecraft server now i went ahead and launched the server to show you guys how to join the server and i'm also going to show you how to have your friends join so anyways i launched the server just so you can see real quick i have a sky factory right here this is a sky factory server because this is a sky factory mod pack if you want to know how to play sky factory i also have a video on that go ahead and subscribe to the channel anyways let's go ahead and open multiplayer let's go ahead and click add server the server name could be whatever and right here we're going to add our ip before address let's go ahead and click on done and that should load the server right up as you can see right there as you can see right here the server is on and i could join it right now if by any reason the ip before address is not letting you join you could also type local host and that might solve your issue for your friends to join the server it's quite simple all we need to do is send them our ip address not our local ip address but our public ip IP address right in order to find our IP address for our friends to join we're gonna go to Google go ahead and type what's my IP address and go ahead and click enter I recommend that you use this website called what is my IP address.com that is the one I use all the time go ahead and click on it and then we're going to use this IP before address number which is different than the local one that we have right remember we have one through command prompt do not use that one for your friends this one is the one you're going to send your friends obviously I'm covering mine but go ahead and copy that IP before address number and send it to your friends and that's the one they're going to use in their Minecraft to join your server they could either click add server or direct connect now if by any reason you had a different port instead of the 25565 they will need to type something like this where it's like your ip address and then two little dots and then whatever number you have
have, let's say it's 25566, then they're gonna type it like this. If you have 25565, since that is the default port for Minecraft, they don't need to add the port number to the string, right? So they could just type your normal IP address and they will be able to join. I do have to say that you need to be careful with your IP address, especially your public IP address, because if that IP address falls in the wrong hands, they could use it for bad ways. Like they could use it to find your exact coordinates on the map and find out where you live and stuff like that. So you need to be careful who you share this IP address with. That is why it's very important for you to be careful with your IP address. Anyways, that's how you pour forward your Minecraft server. If you want to learn how to make a Minecraft server, don't forget to subscribe because that video is coming up tomorrow. And as always, bye bye.